Hello, and welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I just wanted to make a video today about all of the energies that I've been feeling. It's like the energies is all over the place. There's um, communication, but somebody's throat chakra is blocked. All right, it's a lot of energies out there. It's a lot of hurt feelings. I feel like somebody's in trouble. I feel like it's been disagreements and arguments. I hear jail time. Um, I hear the police. Um, just a lot of hospital energy. Just sickness, secrets, the moon card, the high priestess, that B and J, using your intuition, deceptive energy, a lot of secrets coming out. A lot of things are about to be illuminated. All right, so I pulled out some different decks because I want to give you guys some more messages. Maybe some guidance here. Um, and first of all, there's a lot of crying going on, especially yesterday. Okay? So it's a lot of crying going on. I hear it. I feel it. Just the sadness, the hurt, and the pain. Okay? So let's get started. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me again. Thank you for all of my subscribers, my new subscribers. And the beautiful messages and comments that you guys give to me. Thank you. Okay. So I'm pulling all my decks out that I'm going to be using for you guys. It's John Holland, the heart. Okay. Tarot deck, the map, Colette Baron Reed, the Archangel Power Energy. Okay. And then once again, John Holland's Psychic Tarot. Okay. Let's see what's going on here, guys. All right, so I just wanted to pull out some different stuff, but I'm still going to be clarifying with some of my regular decks. And the overall energy I have is some shit is falling apart here. Things are falling apart. This is your divine masculine could have been dealing with two different people. Your divine masculine could have two families, a double life. And he was wearing a mask about this whole situation the whole time. All right? He was dealing with someone from his past. He was building foundations with two different people. All right? So just be aware of this energy. Okay? The next energy that I'm getting is wisdom. We need to use our wisdom in a situation. All right? We know that someone has a home, as you see in the background. And we need to be aware of that. Someone is in a family situation, okay? And this is your divine masculine. He could be possibly considering leaving a family situation behind. That's probably toxic, unhealthy for him. All right? Because someone is feeling hopeless and helpless. Someone is reaching out to the divine seeking for help and hope where they feel at this point there is none. Okay. And the bottom energy here is three of cups. Someone could just be out partying, medicating themselves, just out dating, hanging out, offering love. And just helpless and hopeless and just feeling like they're on their own. And they're going to just do whatever. And this is overlooking and avoiding the real situations. All right. So the overall energy with the Twin Flame Collective at this point. Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy? But the Twin Flame Collective at this point, Holy Spirit. What is the overall energy at this point, Holy Spirit? Overall energy with the Twin Flame Collective. It's indecision to a source, to a Michael. Just indecision. Someone just can't and won't make a decision about what path to choose. It's like what family they want. It's two families here. Somebody has been living a double life. 
This could be your divine masculine living a double life with two families in addition to having you divine feminine. Two of swords. Somebody is so undecided. G Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Indecided. Just won't make a decision. You know, just not trying to. You're just basically trying to leave the situation stuck. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I'm not going to take all of these cards, Holy Spirit. That's a shitload of cards. All right? But that's how many damn problems it is, probably. <laughs> a shitload. All right? What's the other energies, Holy Spirit, in the Twin Flame journey at this moment? What is it that we need to know? Clarifying this Two of Michael. This Two of Swords, Holy Spirit. The Eight of Gabriel. All right? So this is fire sign energy. A message is coming. Someone's trying to connect with you. This is travel. Trying to get with you and possibly give you a message. And if you see all these birds here, it could be tons of fucking messages coming in. This could be a lot of gossip. This could be shit starting. Okay? But this is a lot of messages, a lot of, you know, shit that somebody want to tell you possibly. And they're trying to connect with you. All right? This is fire sign energy. Leo, Aries, Sag. Okay, all right, these cards just fell on the table. All right, so this is the night of um, the night of Michael, which is the um, swords, <laughs> the night of Michael. This is possibly a fight. All right, so this could have been a fight with an air sign. All right, it's some energy that came in. Somebody came in kind of nasty, kind of sharp. All right, or that's the energy that they want to come in with. All right. And it's somebody who was in a committed relationship. This could be that conversation. Somebody want to be honest. Finally, they want to have an adult conversation with you, you know, and it's time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotions and there's sudden changes coming in here. All right. But I just feel the energy that someone is trying to tell you guys some messages. Somebody want to tell you guys maybe some truth. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But the divine is saying, use logic over emotions. Okay, if this is not your divine masculine, this could be some karmic energy that's coming in to start some shit with you. Okay, but if it is your divine masculine, he's coming in seeking peace. All right, so maybe someone wants to come in and tell you the truth because now they want peace and you want peace. And someone's demanding this as well. No more in and out of my life. I understand. I'm at peace now with the situation. If it can't be anything real, I understand. I just rather close the door, utilize my free will and walk out and be at peace with myself and the situation. You do tired of all of this drama. All right. You will communicate this to someone. You're ready to release the past, all right, and just let go. And you're ready for your future here, all right? So this is the Five of Pentacles. This is like, yeah, the Five of Raphael, but it's the Five of Pentacles. Someone's working. Someone could have lost a job. Someone feels kind of left out in the cold in a situation, all right? You could have left someone out in the cold. You're trying to focus on your finances now. This is a situation that even could have drained you financially. Okay? This is also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. But just someone working, someone could have lost a job. You might even have to take a job that pays less. Okay? But someone feels left out in a cold. Even in a financial situation, it could have been a big financial loss. Someone just blowing through money, bullshitting. Someone could be gambling. Just overdoing something as far as an addiction, spending money and losing money. Holding on to money. Feeling at a loss. Having to pay out. All right. So shit happens for a reason. Someone's trying to give a gift and purchase things to maybe get back in your good graces, energy. You're not so willing to accept any gifts anymore. You want the truth. You want understanding here. Okay? Fuck the gifts. Tell me the damn truth. You don't give a shit about the money. Okay? 
because you're tired of all the fucking conflict and the bullshit that someone has taken you through. It's conflict. This is multiple people who could be upset over the divine masculine. He could have made promises. He could have broken hearts along the way. This energy is surrounding you. You're tired of this shit. You don't want this shit here. All right? This is having conflict with the fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag. Or this fire sign is conflicted with all of this energy and tired of it. The drama, the bullshit, the baggage that comes along with this union. The stressors of the finances, the envy, the black magic, the deceit. So at this point, there's divine guidance stepping in here. Divine intervention. The divine is stepping in here saying what someone refused to do in making these decisions, I now have to do. I now have to get the situation under control because someone wants to stay stuck in their ego and not transcend, not awaken, not awakened and just refusing to change their ways, unwilling. So the divine guidance is stepping in here. You guys need to utilize your free will in this situation and let divine step in and handle this situation. You guys are in a conflicted mental state of hurt and pain. The divine knows this. The spirit knows this. They're stepping in here. There's intervention coming in. Okay? Some of these divine masculines will be taken out of your life. There'll be another route, another direction that they will be going. All right? And you will heal from this pain. But you cannot wait on the outcome. You cannot project negativity upon the hurt, the person that's hurting you. You cannot do that because you're creating the blockages in your own life, in your own journey. The divine is here. They're stepping in. They're saying they got this through all this conflict, through all this bullshit. You're begging the divine for peace. They hear you. They're here. They're going to help you with this guidance and this peace here. All right. This could be your divine masculine that's begging for this peace. This could be the king of cups, the king of Ariel. This could be water sign energy. This is water sign energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're stuck. They're in love. They're ready to offer you this. But someone know they have created so much baggage, hurt you so fucking much, knowing that they have truth to reveal. They're asking for divine intervention and divine guidance. This is who it is. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's that moon energy. There's that high priestess energy. This person already know who he loves. He's just gotten himself in multiple situations that has created blockages in his life, as well as tore down his life, as well as gotten him in trouble. All right. So I want to go into more energy. And if there's anything that I need to clarify, I will. Okay. The next energy is, it's just like the wisdom deck. And it's where someone is falling apart here. Like I said, this double life that someone has built for itself has fallen the fuck apart. Okay? It has fallen apart. They played these fucking games. This was all about self-indulgence. Okay? And this was your divine masculine. He could have been trying to build two foundations. One with you. Or even with two different karmics. And then keep you on the side as a secret. All right. So the wisdom is go out and get that spark back in your life that you need. Divine feminine energy. You're missing that spark in your life. You have obsessively put yourself in this twin flame journey union waiting for results that you don't even know the spark in your own life anymore. You're not living for you. It's almost like you're totally living for this journey. 
But if you have to go it alone, go it alone. Don't wait on someone to come and hold your hand and think that they're going to be as ready as you are. They're probably not even on your level. Okay? So you got to get that spark for your own life again, Divine Fam. Here's some messages here. You got to come to life again. You got to make the choice. Okay? This is overall energy of making a choice to end shit, to close out cycles. So you can come back to life and be you again. You lost yourself with this. You got to make the choice to come back to life again. Okay. You are stuck in this dry ass desert. You're in this dry ass funk. You want to be alone. You want, you're waiting for that communication. That shit might be far away before you even get that communication. So you can't stop living. You have to keep doing you. Even if you have to go it alone, even if you have to walk that dry ass desert by yourself, you know, you have to do you express yourself, get your own new fucking beginning. This is divine film energy of what the wisdom that the spirit is telling you. What is the wisdom that y'all seeking? It's like the energy of you want to know what's next. What am I waiting for? Where do I go now? The divine is saying, get ready. If you got to walk this shit by yourself, do it. Do your part. You have free will. You're not stuck. Don't be stuck like the fucking divine masculine. Use that wisdom. Use that will, that motivation to push yourself. You know, heal so you can be as strong and confident again. All right? Because a storm is brewing. Some shit is closing. There's a missed opportunity here. Shit is closing out. There's a storm, a storm brewing here. You guys got to protect yourself, save yourself. All right. This is, it could literally be a storm coming where you're at as far as the weather, but also there could be a storm in a situation coming in your life. Okay. It could be a stormy fucking situation coming. And it's all about you making the right choices, the right decisions, using your head, not your emotions. You know? All right. Because guys, these situations, these foundations, some of this shit is full of conflict. You know, don't go and put yourself back in an emotional conflicted situation thinking that is stable some of you guys are stuck in situations that's emotionally conflicted there's no love here somebody just in situations for stability okay so it's like the divine is saying be wise about these situations all right somebody fucked up their foundation somebody gotta move somebody sad as hell okay it's about the choices and decisions that has been made here. All right. So we need to be like really like in this sacred pool. Somebody need to detox and cleanse their energy. Stop being around environments that drain your energy, that suck the fucking life out of you. Even people can suck the fucking life out of you. You got to know who, when, what and where. Is the right energy for you. Because if you don't know that, you will stay in situations where you are sucked, just sucked dry. And you know, you're going to start feeling like people are just using your energy to keep going, keep sucking your energy away, you know, keep just stealing your energy, keep bringing in their bullshit while you steal your energy. All right. You got to know the difference. Like when someone come in and steal your energy, you feel some kind of way. It's almost like you feel that shit. You know, you feel shitty almost like, you know, like somebody just stole some fucking energy from you and put you in a shitty ass mode. All right. So you got to know to distinguish that, how to make the right choices to not put yourself in these um, energies that drain you. OK, know that. Are you right? Somebody's really working on their foundations. I'm still seeing that four, four, four energy. Okay. So next thing I want to do is go into why 
and who is feeling helpless and home uh, helpless who homeless was coming out there all right so homeless probably as well as helpless and hopeless okay mm. this is the number eight somebody feel like they missed out on an opportunity of abundance all right so this is some john holland but this is the heart love tarot all right so i want to find out first how is the divine feeling divine feminine feeling here Ooh, I just feel a lot of, um, somebody want to communicate, but they're really scared. they embarrassed. All right. I hear this energy. Somebody just thought that this is all about putting on the big show. So the divine feminine, wow. It's like divine fem. You, some of you guys could be out sharing your love messages and relationship messages to others. <laughs> okay. What you have learned in this journey. Okay, but also you have been taught a lesson as well. You have been taught a valuable lesson about love. Okay, and some of you all could be teachers. Okay, but you're also ready to teach people about love through the conflict. Okay, you learn. Okay, y'all can have a cute little doggy here. And you're trying to gain control of your life. All right. Some of you are divine films. You have lost control of your life. You're not seeing things in the right perspective that you should be seeing them. You have lost control of the situation. You feel like you have, but you really hasn't. Haven't. It's all in your mind. All right. Or you feel like you're losing control, even of your own abundance. You feel like you're losing control of your stability. All right. You feel like you're being stopped. And watched, all right? You're seeking divine guidance here, prayers. You're trying to connect with your angels. But you still feel these watching eyes behind you. You still feel this stalking energy. What did I say? You guys feel this third eye. It's awakening. You feel like everything you see is a message. You guys are picking up synchronicities like it's not shit. Okay? It's a lot of 888, 444. You are on top of your game, Divine Fam. You're being aware, but you hurt as fuck. You're having a hard time with being aware. You're not liking what you're seeing. And it hurts. This is through telepathic communication as well. You're not liking what you're seeing, what you're healing, what you're, what you're hearing, and what you're feeling. You're not liking it. Because the divine is making it so very clear to you, okay, about situations. He's almost forcing you to use your intuition through these synchronicities that he's giving you, these downloads that you're receiving. He's asking you, divine film, to go with the flow of this. You have to go with the flow. Stop avoiding healing. Stop avoiding the situation. Here's the number 10. Stop avoiding what you need to let go of, what you know need to end. Go with the flow. Here's the number 10. Some shit need to end. Oh, I'm a rapper. <laughs> but 10, okay? But also, you could be seeing 1010. I've been seeing 1010 all over the place as well. Okay? All right, so Divine Femme. You might need to take the lead. All right. So also someone wants to communicate with you. You or your divine masculine could have had an epiphany. All right. The light could have came on in a situation. Okay. Here's that number three where someone might want to express. It's that communication coming in. All right. So as somebody get out of their fucking balls, they're going to have this communication with you. All right. But somebody, I still feel ego here. Ego, you're going to take the lead and possibly have to heal your divine masculine here. Okay, somebody's like a little heartbroken as well. Okay, somebody missed you. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's stalking you. You notice too, you feel it. You feel this shit. Okay. All right. Daydream and decisions. Telepathic communication. You two are mirroring each other. Okay? 
Y'all feeling the same energy towards each other. There's emotional breakdowns. And these breakdowns are happening within both of you all. You don't even know it. But you guys are mirroring each other. Thinking about each other. Your hearts are connecting. This is a divine union. That's why the divine is stepping in here. This card here. And he's manifesting this union. Wow, that's beautiful. This is number one. He is giving you guys that new beginning. He's trying to manifest a union. You do have the free will. I hear you guys already saying, I don't want that motherfucker. Fuck that motherfucker. I don't want his ass. But God is manifesting for you guys. And even if you have walked away, God can even manifest a soulmate for you all. If you have rejected due to hurt and pain, not willing to heal, not willing to forgive, there's a soulmate coming in. Your prayers are being heard, you all, as basically asking the divine to relieve you of your divine masculine and send in a soulmate. You guys don't want to go through the drama because you're not healed. You're still holding resentments. All right? You're still mad. But you're still manifesting because you have released control of the situation. Okay? But don't create blockages being a mean ass. Okay? You know, watch that, them words. Watch that ugliness. Okay? Those evil words I hear. Watch that stuff. I hear y'all talking shit right now. <laughs> Fuck that motherfucker. All right? Y'all bugging me in my ear. <laughs> talking shit. Okay? So, what I want to do now is... Ooh, I got that spirit guy acknowledging that y'all talking shit. Confirmation. <laughs> okay, so... I want to go into some divine masculine energy, Holy Spirit, using the heart tarot deck. All right? We always clear on our energy. That's why I feel like I'll never have to clarify a lot with the divine film because we always clear. Okay? So, the divine masculine here is he wants a second chance. He wants a clean slate. He wants to blossom and grow this relationship, this union. The light has came on. All right? A lot of situations triggered the divine masculine to change. He want to blossom. It could be an opportunity that's happening here. Okay. Because guess what? He probably want to blossom this love. Move forward. He's mirroring that energy of how you've been feeling moving forward with your life. He feel the pull, the magnetic pull, as well as you guys letting go in the release. Okay. But he want to make a move. He want to express his heart. He want to communicate. All right. You know, it's a tie here. It's a bond here. OK. But right now he's going through uh, challenging times. The divine masculine is going through real challenging times. It's a lot of conflict going on here. All right. But he wants to see the sun. He's looking for the sun. OK. And it's just a lot of conflict that's going on with his life. You know, it's almost like he's holding a pinnacle. But the pinnacle is based on sun, which is complete happiness. He want to come out of this dark. He going through a real challenging time. So I will be clarifying this card for you guys. Okay. And clarifying that he in a win or lose situation here. All right. There could have been some deception. Okay. Here's the number five again. You could be seeing five, five, five energies, which is change, conflict, chaos. Okay, but he in a win or lose situation. So the challenging times is he's in a win or lose situation. What else kind of energy do I need to know about the divine masculine Holy Spirit? What is that? Wow. All right. I'm not taking all of these, but it's a situation that he needs to release. Okay. Divine say yes, you are. Okay. So he needs to release a situation. He in a win or lose situation that needs to be released before he can have a new beginning. And he is being forced to tell the fucking truth here. And that's the challenge for the divine feminine masculine is telling the fucking truth. He's being illuminated through the divine and the angels to tell the fucking truth in a situation. To express how he feel. To tell your secrets to the divine feminine. And work and heal and forgive together. But he's not trying to do that right now. He feel like this is a win or lose situation. All right. But he's trying to make choices and find balance in his life. But him telling you the truth right now is 
a win or lose situation. So he's going to put that on the back burner for a little while longer. Okay? But he's going to try to find balance in his life. It's always about him. He needs to learn how to make the right choices. But also divine feminine. He feels detached from you and the situation. Okay? There's the dove here. It could have been a situation where he planted seeds and something didn't grow. I almost get the energy that there could have been a loss. All right. This is your divine masculine. This is 11. A detachment here from you. A detachment from a situation. It was a seed planted somewhere. It didn't grow. It's almost like he's willing and ready to release the situation. Because he know you have detached as well. You have released. You're seeking purity. You're seeking love. You're seeking divine guidance. It's almost like he threw, knew you threw the rag in and that you asked the divine for something better than him or her. So now he know that you're feeling alone, abandoned, deserted, hurt. He know that he have left you out in the fucking dark. All right. He have left you in conflict. There's those five, five, fives all in his messages here. He left you alone. He left you abandoned. You're trying to find out which road you want to choose, where to go. Divine film, you could be thinking about moving out of town. You want a complete change of life. You had enough of this. You don't even want to be around this person, almost in the same city, the same state. You want to go. He know he made you feel like this. You could have expressed this to your divine masculine. He left you in the dark. Completely chose over you multiple times, still not willing to reveal himself and leaving you stuck. So he's trying to rest and reconsider before closing out or ending a situation. He's hurt, broken hearted energy because he know that he left you alone and now you have walked away, leaving him alone. That's pretty sad energy here. Somebody's scared to fix the situation. And what do you know? After the cards have been shuffled, I still get the same bottom card. Hopeless and helpless. That's how your divine masculine is feeling at this current time. The same fucking bottom card. Okay? So what I want to clarify, why is he going through these challenging times, Holy Spirit? What are the challenging times that the divine masculine is going through? And I'm going to use my What's Brewing deck to find out what is the win or lose situation and what are the challenging times that the Divine Masculine is going through. He's arguing with somebody. He don't want to hear some shit that's going down here. Okay. This win or lose situation. What is this win or lose situation? Holy Spirit with the Divine Masculine. What is this win or lose situation? I'm using What's Brewing. Spilling the beans. What is this win or lose situation? Wow. This deck of came out. So somebody he dealing with could be trash. And he don't give a shit if he stay or if they go or whatever. He don't care if they go or not. He feel like they trash. Somebody threw out the garbage. All right. He feel like maybe you threw him out. Thinking he's trash because he kept you as a secret. So he feel like. You, you're the win or lose situation. Your divine masculine could be a single parent. He could have a child that you don't know about. So these are things why he don't want to connect with you, divine feminine, because he's hiding things. He know that he kept your secret. He know that you walked away from his ass because he's a big liar and he could be holding children. Or a child back from you. He could also be a single dad. And not telling you. Because he made some badass choices. So that's why he felt connecting with you. Divine feminine at this time. Is a win or lose situation. Okay. So what are the challenging times. That your divine masculine is going through. Here's another card. And be aware. Because he might give you a fake ass apology because he really don't want to apologize because he's stuck in his ego. 
<laughs> what are these challenging times? Holy Spirit for the Divine Masculine. All right. I have these cards here. All right. Challenging times is he could have been fucking around with somebody at the gym. Or through these challenging times, he's going to the gym. All right. But I feel like at the gym, he could be flirty. Or someone could be flirty with him. All right. Still getting caught up. Just like I said. Wow. The next card is caution. Still getting caught up. You know, just still like haven't had enough. You know, just fighting with people. Somebody having to put him in check or he putting somebody in check. Okay. And, you know, somebody he know that you just chilling. You know, through these challenging times, he's just chilling, chilling, <laughs> chilling. He's just chilling. You know, this motherfucker could be out creating shit, starting shit, and just running away chilling while everybody else dealing with his shit. He could be blocking out motherfuckers, ignoring shit, don't want to hear shit, and just creating shit. All right? So, wow, there's a lot of shit going on. All of these cards came out for the Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine could be spending family time or being a fake family situation. He could be with a family. This is one of his double families. You know what I'm saying? Okay? Because he got two families. Because he's very deceptive. Deceitful and full of betrayal. Okay? All right? Because your Divine Masculine could have an STD. He's not using sexual protection while he's still out here horn around. Okay? So that's why he in this challenging situation. Okay? Wow. Because what? He expecting a fucking baby. Okay? He put himself in these situations. All right? So he fucked up the love story with you all because he out here horn around and expecting a baby or someone think they have a love story with your divine masculine. All right? Wow. It's the bugaboo bitch. All right? She could have trapped him. She could have gotten pregnant. She thinks she in love. She thinks she finna have a family with your divine masculine. This is something that he could have set up or did. You know? That's something that he could have done. You know, put somebody in that situation. Well, somebody put him in that situation. Okay? So I just want to find out, what's in, um, what do we need to know, Holy Spirit? What's going on with this twin flame journey? I'm using the second John Holland deck. What's going on with this twin flame journey, Holy Spirit? What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Mm. Your divine masculine feel your emotional loss. He feel your emotional loss as well as... You're feeling his mirroring energies. There's a big emotional loss here due to conflict, deceit, and betrayal. All right. Somebody trying to move forward. Somebody trying to leave a situation behind. This is more that eight, you know, energy. Somebody just trying to move forward, connect, give you messages, make contact with you. Somebody's trying to come, you know, plane, train, automobile, you know, boat. They could live overseas. Okay, number eight. Just like I said, that throat chakra, that communication. Somebody want to communicate with you. They having a hard time. They choked up. Five, 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 eight, eight, eight. That's what you're going to be seeing. It's a lot of it out here. Somebody is choked up, want to communicate with you, trying to get with you. But they are just bored and disconnected. They don't know how to do this. They don't know how to connect with you and offer you that cup. They, they foundation and stability could be fucked up. Somebody could be homeless here. All right. They trying to triumph, go over this situation. They trying to self reflect. They trying to do a, a soul searching. They trying to rebuild themselves. They trying here. This is divine feminine energy as well here. Somebody's like accepted this loss. Somebody's trying to have hope to move forward. Somebody want to see the sun illumination. The moon is opening up to the sun energy. You know, them secrets and lies are going to come out. There will be a new beginning, even if it's not with your divine masculine. All right. Wish fulfillments will happen here. All right. This is number nine. Wish fulfillments. They will take place. 
someone got to deal with both of you all, divine film and divine masculine. You got to deal with that hurt, that pain, that heartbreak. It needs to be healing here. It's a pregnancy going on. All right. Somebody did not choose wisely, but the divine is asking you to choose wisely now. All right. It could be a lot of options going on, but only two of you are allowed to fly away. Okay. Please choose wisely in your decisions. You could be going overseas. Somebody could be trying to connect with you through this water. Somebody want to have lunch with you. Take you out to the pier. All right. It's a lot of soul searching, self analysis going on. Okay. While someone's in solitude due to an ending. All right. Someone could be all alone. If you see her book, one chapter is written, but it's still another chapter to write. All right. But things have to be shut down, closed out before you can have this new beginning. It has to be an ending. All right. This story is not over. There is more to write. All right. It's more to write. Somebody could be writing a book. Somebody could be sharing this story. It will be light at the end of the tunnel. Number 19 equals, you know, one and nine is 10. So after some shit close, a situation will be illuminated again. Something will be reconciled again. A new light will be there. That's that sun that's going to burst through after the darkness. I'm trying to give you guys some energy to come out of this hole. But you got to have patience. Y'all got to believe and hold on. Okay? Y'all got to. Okay? Y'all got to. So what I want to do next is go into the Love and Tragedy Oracle. Yeah, let's find out, you know, about some love and tragedy. What is the advice, Holy Spirit, that you want to share with everybody who's going through this love and tragedy, who's going through this rejection, who's going through this heartbreak, Holy Spirit, who's going through this deception? Could you please tell us what do you want us to know, Holy Spirit? What is it that you want us to know? That you guys got to come out of being stuck in the past. You guys are stuck in the past. This shit that happened to you guys happened to you in the fucking past. Today is a new day. You can't keep holding on to what didn't work. What hurt you before? What about starting something new today? What about moving forward and letting go of the past and start something new today? Live for today. Don't live for last week, last year. Live for today. That's how you got to look at it. You know, even if you got to be friends with this motherfucker, just be friends and let it go. It's holding up your life. It's running your life right now. You have to let this go and try to move forward. Stop being stuck in, in the past and live for what you need to live for today. You know, even if you have to start slow and just take your time. Start slow and heal from the rejection, the hurt. The pain. Start slow. Take your time. This is not an overnight heal. Nobody's saying that for sure. Okay? Because you need to heal and take your time from dealing with someone who was just a player. Okay? They were just a player. They couldn't stop playing the field. And that hurt you guys. Okay? They couldn't offer you something consistent because they were a player. They offered it to you only to take it back for you to find out they were a player. Only to find out they were offering this to multiple people. Nothing was consistent. How can you be consistent if you're offering your love to multiple people and you're trying to make everyone happy? Someone was just a player and was stuck in their ways and did not want to change. You're the beauty. This person is the beast who's unwilling to change their player mentalities. Okay? Who's unwilling to change that shit? Who's stuck in the past? It's like 
everybody don't know this person's energy and their behavior as they go out and meet new people. Everybody don't know this person. So it's like they just running a shit on everybody and just being a player while you're just seeking happiness. And that's what you're asking the divine for is complete happiness. You tired of this shit. All right. So I'm going to go off into some twin flame energy for you guys. Y'all know I'm all about energy. All right. So someone wants to surrender and connect in a 3D. Somebody missed you guys. They, they trying to heal, but they want to connect with you guys in a 3D here. The 3D is the natural. They want to see you. They miss you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> They're giving you guys all type of telepathic communication here. You guys are connecting with them telepathically and you know it and you feel it. That's like you're seeing their name, something on TV, you know, their birth dates, you know, things that remind you of them. Just totally. They're in your dreams. They're sending you messages. It's so much telepathic communication going on, 3D, 5D, because they're trying to see where you at. What's the feeling of you? How are you feeling? Are you still that angry bitch? I mean, what's going on? They're trying to feel you out. Have courage here. All right? Have courage. They're trying to have courage to do this. What's going on with this, Holy Spirit? What is going on with this? Wow. But however, some of you all are blocking this connection completely. You're just tired. You want to utilize your free will and walk the fuck away. And you're blocking this telepathic communication that's trying to come in from your divine masculine. Okay, you're blocking it. You're surrendering to what is, to the divine. You're just waiting for better times, divine timing. You're not even trying to worry about the outcome anymore. A lot of you all have surrendered or just walked away from the situation. All right. And you're out exploring, doing nature. You know, I am exploring Mother Nature, trying to clear your energy, your heart, your mind, your body, your soul. Heal again. Be you again before you met this motherfucker and got caught up in this bullshit. You had a fucking life. You had energy. You had love, growth, peace of mind before this shit took away all of that. Divine is saying, get who you are back again. Explore. Okay? Because during this separa separation, find out who you are. Find out what you want. You know, don't worry about this separation. Worry about yourself. This self-love, your self-respect. Finding who you are. Once you do that, then you know who you bring towards you. You expect more. You don't settle. Okay? So, what I tell you guys, 5D, telepathic communication, the dreams. Someone is trying to connect with you guys so bad. And you guys are like all oh, blocking this shit out. Y'all ain't having it. Y'all don't want it. Y'all tired of it. Ooh, and that is the truth. Okay, so I'm going to ask for a message from the Divine Masculine's Higher Self so I can see. Somebody needs some rest. Y'all fucking tired, man. <laughs> okay, I know y'all tired of the bullshit, but y'all also might be working hard and need some damn rest. Okay, somebody's trying to ground themselves. Okay, trying to ground themselves. You are. There's a lot of nature out here. Okay, you all are going out in nature and y'all trying to ascend. Ascend to that higher level. Y'all trying to, what? Y'all trying to fucking heal. Okay? Heal yourself as well as this connection. All right? You guys could be wearing all these colors, trying to heal, feel brighter. You know, come out of the darkness. Um, a lot of you all are, are like hoping and planning for this connection in the 3D. Okay? Maybe the divine masculine wants to connect with you in the 3D. Okay, but you guys are all looking for that, but it needs to be a lot of grounding, you know, stuff can't come back together with the same cycles and situations that's still going on. All right. So somebody feel lonely in this spiritual journey. All right. So I said you guys might have to go out this shit alone. You might have to do it alone. Okay. 
Holy Spirit, can you please give me a message from the Divine Masculine's Higher Self? Can I please have a message from the Divine Masculine's Higher Self? From his Higher Self? From his Higher Self? He's working on his self-worth. He's trying to develop his self. He wants to be on your level, Divine Feminine. Your life is working out. He see that you master things. You master life, self-respect. You know how to take care of your life, your bills, your job, your car, your kids, your money. You got your shit right. And he like looking at you once again in awe. Like you know your shit. Okay, you know how to handle this. He could be dealing with people who partially know how to handle this. Who are always taking losses. Shit ain't getting paid. You can't trust that shit gonna get paid. You know, he going through shit like that petty ass shit. Who gonna pay this? Who gonna pay that? Blah, blah. Versus you divine feminine. You got your shit together. Okay, so the divine masculine from his higher self, he's trying to ground himself, trying his self worth. What is it that you want us to know, divine masculine? What is it? Mm hmm. All right, so he's still dealing with the karmic partners. This card jumped out. What is he trying to tell us about the karmic partner? He's trying to find his self worth and dignity and dealing with a karmic partner, Holy Spirit, that he's trying to have a rebirth. Okay, the karmic partner and the rebirth. Hmm. We, you know we're going to clarify that karmic partner. But what's going on with this karmic partner and the rebirth, Holy Spirit? Maybe he's growing from that shit, learning. Hmm. Wow. Maybe she's trying to act like you. Okay? But he's also trying to mirror your energy. Just like I said, here's the second mirror that he wants to be like you. And this karmic partner also could want to be like you. This karmic partner could be telling him shit about you. Okay? Right. The karmic partner mirroring you wearing a mask because they want to be like you. This, this karmic partner could also be watching you, spying on you. Just looking, want to look like you and act like you in the mirror. Trying to act like you. Oh my God. Telling him that I'm your twin flame. I'm your soulmate. Wow. Fooling him. You know, telling him this kind of stuff. That this spiritual journey is for me and you. She's trying to step into your role, Divine Feminine. She's telling him all of that, you know. She probably told him all of this this summer. Alright? So this karmic partner could be trying to get into your role, Divine Feminine, by telling your Divine Masculine all of these things about her. That she's in this sacred union. That he's her soulmate. And she's wearing a mask because she's watching you and spying on you. And trying to mirror your energy as well. How sad. So she's like doing research about this. And she's hoping for a miracle as well. Okay. So this could have all started this summer. With this black magic. Somebody's so trying to get out of this situation. All right. Yeah, this is definitely true. All right. So somebody's hoping for a miracle to get out of this fake ass situation because they want to be with their real twin flame. All right. And somebody's doing a soul searching in this journey about their twin flame. Somebody has confused their mind about this. And now they're just going to wait and believe in divine timing. And they're more like whatever happens, happens. All right. Because he's still dealing with a karmic partner that's feeding his head with bullshit. Okay. Mm. So what's going on with this karmic partner, Holy Spirit, using the love and tragedy? Because I feel like this shit is a tragedy. All right. Look at this unrequited love. <laughs> OK, <laughs> now you want happiness. What's going on with this karmic partner, Holy Spirit? Please give us some energy. Wow. Deception. That's what's going on with the karmic partner. Deception. Here's two cards right here. It's a third party. The current partner is now a third party who is blocking this twin flame union. Okay. What's going on? The current partner trying to find out about this twin flame energy, this journey, this message. She's trying to take your role once again. And she's being very deceptive. And this is that black magic energy I told you guys that she was using. Okay. All right. So she's um, trying to hold on. To your divine mask as long as she can. She hoping that in time he would change his mind and dump you or you would just walk away and be just friends. 
She's trying to keep distance between you two. All right? She's trying to hang in there until maybe he fall out of love with you. Okay? She's trying to claim him forever. Hold on to him. Keep him. She have no intentions on trying to let him go. This is all fake. Because she know he want to take a risk with you. She knows this. Okay, she knows this. But she want to hang in there. Okay, I want to go in more on the karmic partner, Holy Spirit. What's going on with this karmic partner? Using what's brewing. What else is going on with this karmic partner? She playing him, manipulating him, treating him like shit, like a dumbass. Pulling all the strings, keeping him away from you, monitoring him, lying, being deceptive, trying to act like she a good bitch. He know he fucked up with this karmic partner. He know he got himself in a situation that fucked him up from making bad decisions and choices. And now he trying to act like he's super busy or this bitch trying to keep him busy and micromanaged. Okay, what's going on with this karmic partner? What's going on with this karmic partner, Holy Spirit? What else do we need to know? That this bitch is angry and mad. All right, aggressive, forceful. And guess what? This bitch is toxic. Y'all already knew that shit. Any more energies, Holy Spirit? Yes. This bitch is outdated, played out, used up, and had. Any more messages, Holy Spirit, about this karmic partner? Anything else we need to know? Mm, divine masculine feel like he hate nothing about you. This karmic bitch showed him a fucking lesson about love and life. And now he realized you don't even compare. This bitch don't even compare to you. You're it. You're the shit. Okay, here's another card. And now this bitch is just a hater. Okay, what else do we need to know? He was dealing with a spoiled little rotten bitch. Okay? So that's what we need to know. Wow. And that's what he said about the karmic partner. Wow. Okay. So I'm just going to give you guys this last little energies. All right? Y'all know I got to go into my little, you know, the real shit. All right? I want to find out. I'm going to leave this karmic partner card out here. Hmm. And then I'm going to use this deck to find out what's going on. First of all, the bottom card is they're childish. Okay? Let me find out what else is going on with this karmic partner. Using my Twin Flame Shadows deck, Holy Spirit. What else is going on with this karmic partner, Holy Spirit? Alright. I'm going to take all these cards. Alright, and I'm going to end it with this, y'all. Okay? This karmic partner is invading y'all privacy. This karmic partner is stalking y'all, watching y'all, checking out y'all media pages. Trying to see everything. She's trying to see if she's not with the divine masculine. She's trying to see if he's connecting with you. Okay? So watch what you post. Watch what you do. This karmic partner is feeling unloved. Mad. Angry. Used. Played. Like it was some sexual shit. But you offered the threesomes. You offered the bullshit. And that's what he took you for. This karmic partner know that he is about to walk away from her. This karmic partner is hoping that you walk away. Okay, I told y'all, this karmic partner could be hunted by the black magic and the bullshit that she did to y'all to make y'all walk away. This karmic partner could be having nightmares and dreams about the toxic shit that she have done to you and your divine masculine. Okay, this karmic partner is, is hiding. She could be guarded. She could have did some shit, started some gossip. All right. Or some shit could have ended. She could have started some shit because guess what? Uh, she could have even had the divine masculine arrested. All right. She could have got him caught up in a situation. Your divine masculine could be in jail. He could have got arrested. He could have got into a brawl with her, a fight. All of that is what could have happened with your divine masculine. OK, and I'm just going to throw you this one kipper card. What is the overall message that we need to know? All right. What is the overall message that we need to know, Holy Spirit, about this karmic partner? Using the Kipper deck. What is the overall energy that we need to know about this karmic partner? Using the Kipper deck, Holy Spirit. Using the Kipper deck. 
that she thinks she's spoiled and privileged. Okay? That she thinks she's deserving. That she's a fucking thief. Okay? That she goes out in the community and spread gossip and rumors, run the streets, be out, partying, hanging out with everybody. And now there's a court situation going on. This karmic partner could be going to court. Your divine masculine could be taking her or she could be taking him. Okay? It's a court situation going on. All right? And yes, there's an official person here. This is a court situation. Okay? This is a guard, this is a judge, a police, something legal is going on, as well as with your divine masculine, the number 22, 1111. Okay? With this, just like I said, here is a court situation. This could be a divorce, child support. This is something going on that the karmic and the divine masculine could be at court. Okay? Something is going on there. So I'm going to end it here with you guys and let you guys know that, hey, I'm trying to send you some more messages, some more energy. But we all have got to heal, release, and let go of the anger. Alrighty, if you like a reading, please email me at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. Alright, I try to do live readings with you guys. I try to answer all your questions. Alright, and look in the description box. Let me know what type of a reading you like. All right, I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. I'll talk to you soon. Have a beautiful, blessed day.